Have you ever wondered what it looks like inside of a tennis shell and how they work? Let's find out. Hey guys, today we have a pretty interesting video. Um, this is a very messy spot right here, as you can tell. Um, now in front of me, I have three canister shelves, but one of them has been completely disassembled where it is completely unrecognizable. So um, basically what I'm gonna be doing is showing you guys what's inside of a canister shell and how they work. Now these canister shells are actually um, four inches. Um, sometimes canister shells can be a little different depending on the brand and the size and what style. There's different styles of canister shells. There's double break. There are some with tails and there's some that are, you know, different, you know. I've seen uh, horse tail canister shells, you know, they don't e entirely explode, but they just kind of shoot the stars out from one side and kind of make up a waterfall or falling leaves kind of effect. But these are just your standard canister shells. Um, these specific ones are the Neon Skies, uh, four inch canister shells by Raccoon Fireworks. Um, and yeah, I brought those from the river, so. But yeah, we'll just go ahead and get into this. Um, the most visible part of a canister shell would obviously be the label. This is literally the outside of a canister shell. And it's pretty basic. I mean, it tells you everything. There's a warning label. There's the effect, everything. So there's that. And then the under the label would be the actual shell of the canister shell. Um, I mean, it's just thick paper. I mean, look how thick that is. That's how that. This is what makes them really loud because it's super thick and really hard to. Uh, I had to uh, cut this to be able to get this opened up, you know. So, and that would be like, I mean, it's under this label. It's what makes the canister shell really sturdy. And then the most important important part of a canister shell would be the fuse. I mean, it's probably another really obvious part of a canister shell. You light it and it gives you a really nice delay before it goes off. It's, it is obviously the most important part of a canister shell. So, and then, um, so after the fuse, it actually goes into the bottom of the shell. Um, there's actually a hole here. And if you kind of, I gotta put this back together a little bit here so you can see this is kind of the basic structure of the canister shell. It's just, it's a canister, a cylinder. And the hole is right here actually, it goes in. So about that much of the fuse is going inside the canister shell. See it kind of connects right there. That goes in and it lights this stuff right here. This is called lift charge. And basically what it is, it's basically a bigger version. It's bigger granules. It's basically um, gunpowder. Um, except it's a uh, firework grade. It's black powder and it's granules. So it's, it's a pretty interesting thing. It's very common in fireworks, uh, especially aerial fireworks, like cash shells, ball shells, uh, cakes. And yeah, that's what makes the shell go up out of the tube. Um, the very loud launch. So it shoots the shell up in the air. And after that, so this part right here, oh, that stuff is in a little spot right under the canister shell. So it's about that much space of empty space right here. Now I, you can actually see the, uh, I kind of ripped out some of the uh, paper. There's, um, so I would say about down to here is empty space and that's filled with this stuff and that shoots up into air. Now you can see kind of this orange stuff. That's obviously where this clay was. Um, it's very messy and it broke in half, but you can see that there's a hole. That hole holds this. 
this is a fuse it's a very slow fuse it's called the time fuse and that goes through the middle of the shell and uh, oh I did forget to mention this little paper disc right here is actually the bottom of the shell it keeps the uh, lift charge from uh, falling out and this little brown paper was down here too and that keeps the disc from falling out too so it's glued around the shell and you know but yeah that clay the time fuse and then this gray stuff right here is this stuff right here that is the explosive part of the shell um, so this powder that's in here is actually what sets off the shell it makes it explode in these little balls these are called stars and this is what makes the color of the uh, canister shell um, the powder is called black powder um, it's basically the pure powder form of this stuff this uh, seems darker because it's actually been turned into a slurry and then it and then it's uh, granulated so yeah so that goes off and blows the canister shell up and that's pretty much everything but this white clay sits at the top here, right here. That keeps everything from falling out, um, just like that plug. So there's two plugs. Now, nobody knows why there's two different colors of clay. It's always orange and white. So, I mean, obviously the orange clay is a bit softer. It's easier to break, but it's still strong enough to hold the whole thing in place. So, yeah, and that clay right there is just keep everything from falling out. Now, obviously, there's nothing up in the top here. There's at least a half inch of empty space at the top of the canister shell. And these two wads, these little two little paper discs sit in between that white, white clay plug. Um, and you can see there's some black powder on that wad. So it was under the clay plug, and this one was on top. So that's what those are. And this is the very top of the canister shell, as you can see. It's just another paper disc. Um, and obviously it doesn't have any purpose because there's already um, clay there. I mean, it's just empty space, which is kind of disappointing. Um, I don't know why there's empty space in canister shell. Maybe it has something to do with weight. I don't know, they could have they just made the shell its true length. I mean, almost every canister shell has this empty space of air. So four inch canister shells would technically, technically be three and a half inches. And five inch would be four and a half, six inch, five and a half, seven inch, six and a half. It's pretty weird. So yeah, and that is pretty much everything that's inside the canister shell. And I've already explained how it works. So, now I don't know what I'm gonna do with all this stuff. Um, I'm gonna throw most of it away. I'm gonna save the fuse, the lift charge, and the stars, and the black powder. Um, everything else I'm gonna throw away. I might just dissect these two as well, and use the lift charge and make some star mines out of it. Um, but then I don't know what I'm gonna do with the black powder. I'm probably just gonna make a few firecrackers out of it. Black, black powder firecrackers. Um, those are actually a lot safer than uh, flash powder firecrackers because it's not as powerful. But they'll still be pretty loud. So, yeah. Thank you guys for watching. Like, subscribe. I'll see you guys next time. I hope you enjoyed this video because it's pretty interesting.